Welcome back to the FIFA 14 G3 Championship. My name is Chris Trout, aka the Trout91. And it's here, it's the grand final for the Frenchman going up against his teammate and also a Frenchman, Epps Alon Brian. This is going to be a two leg affair. If it does go to extra time, they'll play one third game and it will then finally go to penalties to decide who walks away with that $7,500 prize pot. If you're looking to get your road to glory underway on FIFA, visit the gfinity.net website and you can get involved in some competitive FIFA. So, without further ado, let's throw it over to Spencer Owen and the man who just lost 200 million coins, KSI. Take it away, boys. Thanks, Chris. That's really nice of you. I'm here with JJ, a.k.a. the guy that just threw away a massive game of FIFA. How do you feel? Well, um... Yeah... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't feel good, but, guys, the most important thing is we have the grand final. This game is huge, all right? Of course. You've seen both of them play. What do you think is going to happen here? Um, well, obviously, they're both Absalon, so... Yeah, well, they're both, a win-win for Epsilon. Yeah, it's a win-win for Epsilon in general. But uh, I think, uh, to me, I'm a, I think Vinch might have this one. You're going you know? with Vinch? I think Vinch okay. might have this. Well, don't forget, guys, it's not just pride and a championship on the line. The winner of this game gets $8,000, all right? Second place, 4000 So that's double <laughs> if you win. It's a big game. They're going to be playing as PSG and Brazil. They are the remaining teams. Because when they started this process, they had seven teams they could use, only use each team once at most, and that's who they're left with. So, um, yeah, Vinci is Brazil, Brian is PSG, right. So, and he's representing France as PSG, but Vinci has jumped ship and he's gone with Brazil. So it's going to be a big <laughs> game. You're going Vinci, I'm going to go Brian just to mix it up. So good luck to both of you. Right. May the force be with you. It's Play good FIFA. Good Remember what your parents taught you. Be polite, say please and thank you and win FIFA. <laughs> All right, let's get to this grand final. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. let us begin. Here we go. Here we go. All right. What, so, do, you, what do you think of Brazil? Brazil obviously um, had their, their bit of failure against Germany, but um, on FIFA, they're, they're a good side. Uh, they as, as good as PSG? Um, no, I, would, I wouldn't say so. PSG have a very good side. Uh, Ibrahimovic. Yep. Personally, to me, is the best player in the world in the game. Do and you think he's as good in head-to-head -head as he is in the ultimate team, though? Yeah? Um, well, I mean, you, could, you can't really say that because like, with ultimate team and head-to-head, -head, they're both different ball games. Exactly. So it's like comparing uh, apples and oranges. You just and can't. which do you prefer? I... <laughs> I, I like my, I like apples. Apples are <laughs> That's really exclusive good. for everyone exclusive. at home and watching. KSI prefers apples to oranges. So, uh, what do you think about Brazil? And PSG? I, I actually prefer oranges. Oh no, sorry, you mean what? the FIFA? No, I'm talking. Yeah, about... <laughs> let's talk about the FIFA because it's a big game. Okay, now straight away, I've got to agree with KSI. I do think PSG are the better team, which means Brian has an advantage. These guys are not messing about. Of course. They've made it all the way to the final. They are. Almost as good as you, right? <laughs> Banter. Anyway, but no, for real, like, I'm sure these guys have played several, several times. Oh, yeah. So they know how each other play. So this is going to be, it's going to be really tight. They're sparring really buddies. All right, these guys play in the same team. So of they're going to be, they're going to know each other's combinations. They're going to know each other's footwork. The question is, who can use that information against the other one the best? Yeah, exactly. Who would you, what would you do with the Brazil? One of the big problems with Brazil in this game is who do you play up front if you're playing a front three? Do you use well, Fred? Well, obviously, for me, I just wouldn't use uh, Joe. I don't, I don't like Joe. And a no. lot of uh, competitive players like to use Joe for some odd reason. I guess because he's taller than Fred. Yeah. So he'll, he's more likely to win head, headers, maybe. But still, I'd much rather go with Fred. Fred is a better touch. You know, Fred is probably better finishing. And he's just a better player, in my opinion. I mean, it's the lesser of two evils, because neither of them are good, aren't they? Let's be no, honest. No, no, no. They're, they're not great. Okay. He's gone with Joe, as you say, the pro players. Yes. Who, who prefer the Joe option. Don't forget, guys, if you've been watching this tournament online and you feel like you want to have a go at competitive FIFA, gfinity.net. Sign up. It's completely free. 
and you can play your buddies or complete strangers online for money. And you can not just do head-to-head, uh, -head, you can do Ultimate Team, you can do pro clubs, wages, you name it, it's on there. How excited are you about Gfinity and, and well, Gfinity.net? I'm, I'm so excited, especially for clubs. Like, yes. Hopefully if EA can uh, make pro clubs a thing offline, yeah. then that would be absolutely insane. And I just, it may, it'd be the greatest thing for competitive because people will be able to create teams, like proper yeah. teams. Like, Imagine an Epsilon versus an Optic FIFA team. Wow. Imagine. How <laughs> insane would that? Imagine Optic were able to create a pro clubs team, FIFA team. That I think that sick. would be what so huge, so huge. And yeah. pretty much, like, we want to try and make everything, you know, we want to try and make this big for FIFA. Definitely. We want to make competitive huge for FIFA. So, I mean, we're in the right, we're going in the right direction. Obviously, we need EA to do their part. But, uh, you know, I think we will get there. We will get I there. I do too. It's a, it's a passion we both share. Both like pro clubs a lot, and uh, yes. we want to see that happen. Of course. But right now we're dealing with head-to-head, -head and Brazil have got an opportunity. Neymar's been tackled on the edge of the box. He's going to get second bite of the cherry. No, he's not. The shop's closed for business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of cherries. You don't like cherries? No, no. It's just a bit too. Uh... It's a bit obvious. No. <laughs> did you did you just palm me sexually? No, I, oh, you've got a dirty mind, mate. I was literally <laughs> talking about fruit. Oh, we, we've, fruit. We've sustained that I like talking about fruit. We did oh, the okay. apples and oranges thing. Fair it's enough. a passion of mine. <laughs> but let's get away from the cherries thing. Let's put that behind us. <laughs> what have you seen from this game? I mean, it's not uh, a nothing, lot of action. Nothing, not at all. Um, they're, they're both just cancelling each other out. I mean, Vinch was very dominant in the last couple of the games. Well, Vinch is a chance here. Well, or not. Oh, Vinch was very dominant in the previous games. But right now he just he just isn't really doing anything to make him stand out. Everything he tries, yeah. Brian just reads and knows what he's gonna do. It's a complete contrast to yours and Simon's game because yes. you guys you know, are entertainers first and foremost. You're playing of the shows. You know, it's an open game when you play, yes. lots of things happen. These guys, it might look like there's less action, but you can't understand until you play against pro players yes. just how tight it is. One mistake and you're gone, and if they get that goal, they can sit on it, right? Exactly, exactly. And it's just a different ball game, competitive, and you know, like playing a YouTuber. A YouTuber doesn't play. 20 oh, oh, oh that was an opportunity. So for Joe. close there, Joseph. Like, like I said, YouTubers do not play as as much as you know, competitive players. Yeah, play. And that's why you don't see a lot of YouTubers going to uh, going to these type of events because the standard is so high that you just need to put in so many hours. But if you're if you're that type of player, then you know, so go for it, man. Plenty like, of opportunities for you now to to stack your so, claim. And literally, the gaming community for FIFA is just getting bigger and bigger. Like two years ago, no one could have thought any of this. The whole G3 thing. For FIFA would have been possible. Yeah. And now we're commentating about it. Exactly. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Well, I, I can't wait for more to come and bring it on. Bring it on. And don't forget, guys, this final is being played over a maximum of three games. So unlike uh, KSI and Simon's game, we're, we're using the aggregate score. So at the end of this game, whatever the score is after 90 minutes, we'll carry on to a second match. And at the end of the second match, if things are still level, it will go to a third match, which then has the possibility to go extra time and penalties. I mean, your penalty shootout with Simon was very tense, but these guys, I can't imagine what's in their head. Yeah, but uh, about the game between me and Simon, I should never have given away those own goals. Uh, it's going to forever haunt me. It will. Forever haunt me. I should have just finished the job and just ended it, but nah, I had to uh, be a bit more... You tried to be the big man, mate, and it backfired. That's yeah, what happened. Of course, of course. But uh, nevertheless, that's behind us. Yeah, we're forgetting about that. We're moving on with our lives. I, I haven't, I'm not going to look at Twitter at all. <laughs> because, yeah, I'm sure are, it's just going to impress these, me. These pro players, right? I don't yeah. know about you, but I imagine in their head, it's just a mixture of like matrix numbers and like fax <laughs> machine. And you know, you used to dial up the internet. And it was yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> just going through their constantly. head. I just, well, I mean, this game has just been very stale. Like, this, yeah. nothing is happening, and they probably are just thinking numbers and just going, oh, what, what am I going to do? Oh, I Seven, don't know what six, to do. five, one, two. <laughs> Binary code. Cross uh, it in. Goal. Move oh, it. Oh, it's a good save. Oh, oh well done. Well Jefferson. Played. 
Jefferson oh, yeah. in goal. That's different. Interesting choice. That's very and that's interesting. the half-time. Nil-nil, JJ. It's, there's not much to talk about, <laughs> really. There's been three shots, that's... one on target. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's not that open, but when someone does score, it will be interesting because the person of that course. concedes has to respond. Yes, and uh, they'll obviously have to play a different way. Yeah. So, at the moment, they're playing really KG. And there was a chance there, but no, nothing, nothing is just happening for both players. I would have thought they would have gone all out and just, you know, gone all guns blazing. But both of them are, well, obviously, both of them want to win. I think $8,000. $8,000. A lot of dollars. Oh, Neymar my with the shots. That's the Vinch we like to see, though. Vinch slowly getting into his game. Yeah, he's feeling it. He's feeling his way around. Interesting, we were talking about pro clubs earlier because Brian actually comes from a pro club's background. Wow. This is his first year playing competitive one-on-one -on -one FIFA. And he's, he's in, the final. in the final. Crazy. Of G3, wow. That is, that's revolutionary stuff there. Yeah. Maybe everyone needs to play 11 v 11. That's Maybe. training. Maybe, Maybe. That's, Maybe that's, that's the way. Being one player gets you so far, maybe. Hello. But that's a Joseph. Very good ball. Joseph. Joseph. Good 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 Joseph. So what is Brian going to do? Also, one thing we haven't talked about yet is all through this uh, tournament, the Epsilon guys have had a coach with them. Yes. Now they've mixed things up. One of the coaches is with Brian, the other one's with Vinch. Yes. How do you think they decided that? They draw straws? Have they got favourites? Well, obviously the one, the, the manager next to uh, Vinch yeah. is clearly the, <laughs> the guy who keeps on making people win. He's the lucky charm. He is, is going to switch off to the first charm. game. He probably up. has to, just to... You know, keep it even, but uh, we will see. Literally, Vinch is, Vinch is a very good player. I don't know if you saw him yesterday, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he just does wonders with the ball. He's able, like that. Like oh, that for that. Hulk. Absolutely amazing. Go. Surely, Go uh. sure. Like He just finds that space and just yeah. completely demolishes opponents. Now, Brian is obviously struggling now. He's just trying to get his way back into the game, but I think Vinch might have this. I think Vinci might have I mean, this. it says a lot about Vinci's skill that we're both saying PSG are the better team and he's winning with yes, Brazil. Yes, yes. It's, so it, it's, yeah, it's miraculous. It's miraculous. Obviously, I feel like Vinci obviously likes to have a Ronaldo or an Ibrahimovic, a guy who's yeah. strong and can do skills. Yeah. So... He's got Neymar who does do the skills, just hasn't got the strength. Exactly. So he easily gets pushed off the ball, but now we've got a bit of space. Hulk now on the wing. 64 minutes have gone. Hello. Anyone in the box? Hulk in some great space, finds oh. the cross, but nothing, nothing happens The only there. way you can make that Ronaldo figure for Brazil, you have to literally merge Hulk and Neymar. Yeah. Because Hulk's got the strength, Neymar's got the skill, but that's yeah. why Ronaldo's so good, he's got both of them. It'll just be this short, stubby, skilly person. Yeah. Looks like Hulk. That looks like Hulk, yeah. Ugh. Peacock haircut. That would. <laughs> Mixture of the two. Oh God, that'd be scary. 1-0 to Brazil in this first leg. Don't forget, it won't be all over these 90 minutes. It will go to a second leg. Indeed. $8,000 on, on the, the line. line. Hulk again is through. That might be a weakness there for Brian. Brian is struggling on that left-hand side. And uh, Brian's got to change that up. What would you do? $8,000 one of these guys is going to have after yeah. this match. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of ultimate tin coins. That's right. <laughs> A lot of gold packs. I might need to borrow some of his, uh, some of his winnings or yeah. some of their winnings to pay Simon. To pay Simon, <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Yeah, that was a costly, costly loss. Oh well. Going back into this game, 72 minutes gone. It's been pretty stalemate, uh, except yeah. for the goal. But uh, Brian just trying to see what he can get. But this might look like a one-nil game. It's what you'd expect at this stage in the tournament. You can't afford to commit, even in. I mean, this in in, re in reality, this is really like just before half time because it's a two-legged yes. game. So it's very early to go attacking at this point if you're losing. Yes, yes. So I mean, it's a best of three. So oh no, it's sorry. Apologies. It's a two-legged game. Yeah. It's a two-legged game. It will go to three so, if it's level. Yes, exactly. So we'll see. We'll see. I think Vince will. 
mean, she's got this. I'm going to stick with Brian. I'm going to give him a bit of confidence boost. Allez le bleu. Allez le bleu. Again, Hulk on that left-hand side, just creating space. Again, Hulk on the ball, but gets tackled. Let's uh, have a look at this vote. Right, last time we saw this, it was nil-nil. And on Twitter, you can vote with the hashtag Vinch or hashtag Brian, tweeting it at Gfinity to say who you think is going to win. It was 50-50. Vinch scored. What happened? Yeah. He went 60-40. Wow. Wow. And he scored again. It could be going Goal! higher. Two nil. Two nil. <laughs> GG. That's why I get involved at the end. <laughs> Two nil, mate. Brazil. They're loving it, loving it, loving it. 81 minutes. PSG. Now you've really got to think about spicing it up a little bit. Nah, I don't think he's going to come back into this. But obviously, you know, Brian still has another game to change it up. But Vinci, oh man, this this guy's he's got talent. Ladies and gentlemen, you you need to remember this guy, Vinci. Epsilon Vinch. Remember the name. Remember the name. One of the best players I've seen play FIFA. Are you, are you backing him to go on and make a real name for himself? For the I scene? really do think he can. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Neymar on the board. Just, oh. uh, it's just disgusting. Wow. Just, oh, look wow. at that. That's a free kick. That should really? be a free kick. But look at that. It's absolutely amazing. Marcelo in great space. Oh. Again, it cuts inside. Oh. It's just too easy for Vinch. It's too easy. It's too easy again. No. Luis Gustavo. Oh my God. Why tries to find. Oh my God. He still again. He still wants more. He still wants more. It's absolutely disgusting from Vince. He's showboating in a game worth eight thousand dollars. Can you think about that? Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Just think about that. That think takes a big set of man bags to do that. Guess how old Vince is? Uh, I can tell you how old he is. <laughs> <laughs> but, but tell me. Seventeen. Seventeen. 17 is how old wow. he is. So he's and got he's a big, bright future level. ahead of him. I mean, this should, like, everyone who's watching this, if you're 17 or younger, think about that. And there Just it is, fi about final whistle there you in the first leg. Vinci is taking a 2-0 lead into the second game, which will be the same teams again, PSG Brazil. Do you think Brian's got any chance? Of course. I do think Brian has got a chance, but man, oh man, Vinci is just... A very good player. The machine. He's a 17-year-old I mean, machine. I, I've seen every game Vince has played, and literally this guy could arguably be the best FIFA player in the world. Wow, that's a big. I'm would saying, you say you're a Vince fanboy? I would say I'm a I'm a Vince fanboy. I heard I'm you've gonna, got a picture of him in your wallet. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and follow him right after this game because follow the hell out he's of him. just he's just he just his game excites me. Yeah, his game excites me. That's what's interesting is a lot of the pro players. No one can doubt they're all very talented, but. Some of them play in certain ways. Some are more entertaining, some aren't. Yeah, and Vinci is definitely an entertaining Vinci is record. very entertaining. Look at this, Neymar now. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Hill. Look at that. Just trying to create a brilliant goal there. Unlucky, but still absolutely great stuff. Absolutely great stuff. He looks like, I mean, I don't know how long he has been playing for. I mean, he, he's got major achievements going back to 2013. So only a year really in competitive industry. But he looks like he's been playing for all of his 17 years. Yes. Like, he, he, <laughs> literally, it looks like he came out of his mum's womb. And had a controller. And that head. would have hurt her more if he had yeah, a controller. Yeah, exactly. It's. <laughs> but you got to think about the mums in this situation. Yeah, the mum, the mum. God wow. bless the mum. Literally, look at that. Sixty-three percent. Sixty-three percent on team hashtag Vinch, and only thirty-seven on team hashtag Brian. If you want to vote, maybe you want to help Brian, give him a confidence boost. Go onto Twitter at Gfinity, hashtag Brian or hashtag Vinch. Is that going to be a corner? That is a corner. Don't do hashtag Epsilon. That will be confusing. Yeah. They're both in Epsilon. All right, that's a good ball. That's a great oh. ball. Easily taken by Sogo. Now, Brian, Brian needs to do something now. Brian needs to just create something because he is getting slapped right now. We don't want to see a Granik. We do not want to see a Bruce Granik right now. And Brian. as things stand, he is heading home. We're a very comfortable four thousand pound runner up, a four thousand dollar sorry runner up prize. Yeah. But oh, he this. wants the eight. He wants it for the of team course. epsilon bragging rights. He wants it for his bank balance. There's a lot of reasons he wants it. But right now he's not getting it. No, not at all. And, uh, it's just, it's a, it's a shame. I'm sure Brian is extremely annoyed right now because he yeah. did quite, he did all right 
in the first game, first half, you know, he was able to cancel out Vince, just not let him do anything. But now Lucas now on the run. Oh. Lucas was in some space. Oh. Lucas on top of the ball, don't what's know what's going, going on? on here. No. But now Joe, has got an open net or had an open net, but again, the ball is back to Joe. Do not know what happened there, but Woo. that was close. Now Hulk in some great space. Hulk trying to cut back inside, oh. tries to oh. find someone, but nothing happens. Vinge seems very, very comfortable in possession in the opponent's box. Yeah, extremely comfortable. That's just how he plays. He's yeah. able to just go so direct at his opponent and just literally showboat in front of them. Very naughty. Get through the tiny little gaps of his opponent's defense and score. It's absolutely astonishing. I mean, and we, we shouldn't do Epsilon Brian a discredit because he's done very well to get to uh, yeah, this point. No, he's beaten uh, big names. We've got to remember, Epsilon as a team are very good. They've bossed it. They've bossed it. Like, they've completely taken G3 by storm Yeah. as they're both in the finals. But obviously, Vinch, to me, is just one of a kind. It does sound like I'm completely kissing But he's, he's the performances back it up, to be Vinch. fair. I mean, 61% exactly. of people agree with you. I don't know why um, it's gone down. Well, maybe people Vinch. are thinking Brian can make a comeback. I mean, he's PSG. If you're in PSG and you're in this, this position right now, what are the options he's got on the bench? What are the changes he could make? Bring on Menez, I guess. Menez, Menez, a bit of pace. Menez, a bit of pace. But you can see Brian just trying to replicate what Vinch is doing as well, but unable to do it. And again, Hulk now running down the line, running down the wing. Cuts back inside, oh. passes it back to Joe. Joe in some great oh, space, nice. finds Hulk. Hulk oh. The, oh my God, oh wow. dear. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what Vinci is demonstrating there. When you watch the Germany-Brazil game, they destroyed them. A lot of people said that was a demonstration in what's called the extra pass. When you the think you're gonna pass. score, and you do one more. And that's what he did there. We all thought yeah. he was gonna score, shoot the header. He did another cross. He made another opportunity because the defenders don't anticipate it. Yes. We could be seeing a change here from PSG. So, is it is it, or oh, Marquinhos is going off? Ooh. Or Van der Veel is going to go right back? I mean, is that, is changing your right back at this stage going to have that bigger change? He changed his left back as well, is he? I he is. He was playing Matuidi at left back. He's playing Maxwell at LDM. What's going on? He loves full backs. I, well, I mean, I think maybe because they're pacier. Maxwell's not that fast, is he? Uh, maybe his positioning is better. I believe his. Maxwell's positioning is quite good. It's weird that he was playing, maybe, I don't know. I think he was playing Matuidi left back, who's a CDM, and a, yeah, and a, a left back in CDM. Matuidi is a very good defender. He's got that, that, that high uh, p uh, attack and defensive attack work and, rate. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, just it's obviously not worked. No. Because... <laughs> He's got Ramirez, to be fair, which he has the same, the yeah, high high. But obviously, Finch is winning. So. Yeah. <laughs> so Ramirez is winning over Matuidi right now. Yep. 36 minutes on the clock, nearly half time in the second leg. So as things stand, you can see at the bottom of the screen, Vinch is 2-0 up. I'm when just trying to think how O'Brien's going to get back into When this. you want to change a game, I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm an expert on PSG, but I would not be putting fullbacks on. This just, it's, it looks so comfortable for Vinch. Yeah. It looks so comfortable. Is that a crossing thing? Is that why he's put them on? He wants the guys to go up there, they've maybe got better crossing, more energy. Two new fullbacks. Maybe, maybe, because maybe that is the way. But now a chance oh. here for Brian. Ibra. Brian in the box. Yes! No! Wow, wow, wow. Oh! Yes! Oh! Go to Brian. Two one. That's right. <laughs> it's two one, and now we've got a game. Now we have a game. Hands. Because now we have a game. There's still 60 minutes of the No, not not 60. 50 minutes left of this game. Yes. He needs one goal to take it to that third match. That's what will happen if it's one all, or if it's any kind of draw, it'll go to a third match. But now, Vince trying to create a chance. Oh, oh wow. my That's what he does. gosh. That reply! No! That reply! Absolutely amazing composure. Insane. Insane. It was there. I agree, mate. Well, I would have said everything me. you well, said. No, so the we're not mocking I, I saw you. There's a monitor. Friendly. No, there's no there's monitor. There's a monitor that shows you. There's no you. monitor. What? It's, listen, listen, listen. What happened there, right, is that the first time Brian 
looked dominant. He got a goal. People might have been thinking Vince is he's going to throw this away, and then Vince yep. just went. Listen, mate, if I want to score a goal, <laughs> I'll score a goal. You know what I mean? Welcome to my realm. This is my one. hood. I'll show, you how, I'll show you what I do. He was playing within himself, yep. and then he just got without himself. Is that what happened? Uh, you've just confused me. You've that just confused me. Oh, my gosh. What an attempt Ibra, effort. You're never out Ibra, of the game Ibra, when you've got Ibra. Yeah, I mean, he was, like I said, the best player in the world. The best player in the world. Ah! That's oh, what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, my God, what's going oh, on here? Again, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that Brian was it. so close. Brian was so close. Oh, let's look at this. Vince now 63%. I think he's gonna win. Yeah, half time, he's got the 3 1 lead. So, he's, you know, Brian's got to get two goals in 45 minutes of FIFA time. Can he do it? Is Vince gonna let up three goals in a game? I don't think, I don't think I've seen anything to suggest that he will. Vince just looks so comfortable. So comfortable. He's Brian... like he's on a nice new sofa. Brian can score. We know that. We know that now. And we know that throughout the whole tournament, but I'm not sure if we can do outdo Vince right now. Vince, I mean, he's not, he's not a newbie on the scene, even though he's 17. He's won, we can see, he's won the uh, ESWC in 2013. And uh, right, the French oh, champion wait, and the best world champion. Lebetti whips it in to Ibra. 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 He's won a couple of championships and he won the Gfinity Championship FIFA competition. Sec oh, he came second in it, sorry. So he's not a complete newbie, but of course. this is really him announcing himself in this, the scene. Well, I mean, if he won today, it would definitely, like, a lot, lot of people look at him go, It will okay. make a lot of noise. Yeah, I mean, it'll keep, a mo it'll keep more eyes on him. There'll be a lot more eyes saying, OK, Vince is a very good player. Whenever I go to another tournament, tournament I will keep an eye on Vince. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Like, no, one, no one saw... Vince as competition. Yeah. No one saw Vince's competition. They underestimated. If you look at his track record, there isn't really too much that says a lot. I mean, he's he's done he's only he's done well in FIFA 14, but that's yeah. really been it. I mean, you see, this is his game. This is the first game that he's really challenged in. But yeah. if this is a signal of things to come in FIFA 15, I think we're going to hear a lot more of the name Vince. A lot more. What is Vinch. in the water in France? Because both these guys are French. Yeah. Bruce Granick, one of the most successful FIFA players ever. Yes. French. Literally, are they just bringing them up with controllers I, in their hands? I, What's I, happening? I don't know. Maybe it just helps their... I, I have no idea. They, I they, think oh, it's they, in they the curriculum. It's on the curriculum they, in primary school. <laughs> what? Playing FIFA? They do English maybe, lessons, maybe, maths, FIFA. Maybe England needs to take note. Oh, how good would that be in school for FIFA It would FIFA be amazing lessons? if you could... Oh, oh gosh, what a scoop turn uh, there, great tackle there. But how amazing would it be? That would be more valuable than geography. Oh, it's true. Like, obviously, you know, I'm here commentating FIFA. Yeah. And obviously, I record FIFA, and it's pretty much my job to play and record FIFA. I was never taught FIFA. I had to teach it myself. You know what that is? That is irresponsible educating. What was, and what was I taught in school? Algebra. Algebra. When was the last time I used algebra? I don't never. know. Never. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never used algebra never in used any it. situation. But have I used FIFA in my situation? Yes. FIFA has, has made you the man you are. Algebra has literally, if anything, it's, it's, it's made it harder for you. Because you've had less it's, time to play FIFA. Exactly. Less time. All those teachers so what, what just we, wasted my time. What we're trying to say, guys, if you're on Twitter, you can feel free to hashtag this. Yes. Drop algebra from the curriculum. That's all we're saying. Drop just, algebra. And forget and about it. And add FIFA. It's add, a, and it's a long hashtag. Add professional it's a long FIFA. Hashtag. And just, you know. No algebra, more it's, FIFA. It's the way hashtag to go. it. It's the way to go. The amount of... Uh... <laughs> Look at this. He's wow. gone three at the back. He's got about seven fullbacks on the pitch. I don't know what's... The, Digner's gone right me. This is Maxwell set. Van der Ville, they're both in set in the mid. He loves a fullback. <laughs> I just don't know what he's doing. I've never seen him. I just don't know he's what he's doing. He's out of substitutions. What are you Don't doing, Don't over-sub. Do not over-sub. What are you doing? <laughs> I've never seen someone use so many fullbacks whilst playing a three-at-the-back formation. I, I, I'm baffled. I'm baffled. He's playing a formation that requires zero fullbacks. He's playing, I think, four fullbacks. He's a maverick. I don't know. Nevertheless, he has 35 minutes to get something out of this game. I don't see it. I don't see it happening. I mean, Finch, Finch is too strong all over the pitch. At the back, he's very solid, and we know if he gets enough chance, he's certainly going to score it. So, basically, oh. Brian needs to do a complete shutout. He needs it's, to keep the ball. And it, it's, a, it's a shame because Brian is obviously the FIFA, the FIFA 13 EA Sports FC champion. Yeah. 
So he's obviously been in this position before. Yeah. So to lose here, it's be a hard pill to swallow. And he's not, I mean, he's years old. Yeah. And he is getting more of the vote. That's changed. It was, it was 63% to Vinch last time we saw it. It's now moved to 59. So people yes. on Twitter are swaying. But if, he need, if, if he's going to get a comeback, he needs to get a comeback now. Yeah, he needs a goal. He needs a goal right now. He needs to change it up. Well, what's I that? Don't, oh. Actually, that's, that's a foul for Vinch. Do you think the refs in FIFA are different? Do you think they have different styles? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. And uh, I did. I do know a certain thing that uh, the reason why we do this two legs is because the home team normally gets a slight advantage. That's in there. Yeah. Definitely in career mode, you notice that. I mean, I guess, yes. yeah. So that's always something to keep note of. So that's why it's over multiple legs for fair reasons, to make it fair. Exactly. So whenever you play a 1v1, online always make sure you're home gives you an extra advantage that's a little secret tip. tip for you secret there tip. note it down obviously it's not very secret since thousands of people now know and we just revealed it well done mate but still keep note okay here we go opportunity Brian with a chance here by Zebra oh, oh you got to think he was going to get that haven't you Avetti passes it back all the way back to Viago Silva 77 minutes and gets intercepted. Oh boy, here we go. We could punish him on the counter. Here we go. Oh, Joseph. Oh. What if Brazilian got strikers called Joseph and Fred? It's really weird, isn't it? You have Ronaldinho, uh, Fernandinho, you have all those players, and then you just have Fred. Yeah, and Joe. <laughs> Fred. Joe and Fred. Joe. Front. But, you know, that would explain a lot as to why they're so bad. Maybe they're English. <laughs> Maybe they're English. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe you're right. Hulk. Spencer, maybe you're right. Bang. That's a great goal. Oh, it's got to be a goal. goal. And no. that's it. Yes. Oh. That is that. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely Vinch. Got to be. Well played to Vinch. Ladies and gentlemen, keep note. Keep note. Remember this person. Remember the name. Epsilon. Vinch. Yep. Epsilon Vinch has come to this tournament. He said, guys, Storm I'm not here. This tournament. I'm not here to make up the numbers, mate. I'm here to be number one. Numero uno. Oh, man. Number oh, man. Has he done nine. You know any others? Um, I don't actually don't know any others. Yeah, I'm not very good at other languages. Number one is what we're trying to say. Pretty much. He's, he's pretty much done this. Well played to Vinch, though. Like, Vinch, wow. 4 1 on aggregate. Oh. Massive. Like, and, uh, let's, be, let, let's, let's put this into perspective. Brian is in the, in the finals. Yeah, he's not a mug. He's a good player. Brian has beaten so many good players. Yeah. And Vince is right here slapping. I mean, Brian. let's remember, in the first Four, leg, he's putting skills one. out. He's been doing skills he's the whole time. He's been doing skills the whole time. I'm... I'm the reason, ladies and gentlemen, the reason I'm talking slow is because I am just bemused at this fact. Brian is a very good player. Brian oh. is one of the best, and that's a chance there. That's wow, a goal. Wow, wow, wow. A consolation goal. Brian doesn't even celebrate. Menez off the bench. I wonder, I wonder if Vinch will score two on goals. Vinch, if you're a lad, <laughs> he scored two on goals, mate. Surely Vinch he has scored English. two on goals. What's the French for that? Score Vinch, Una, two goals. own goals. Oh, hey, hey, Vinch, you want to score two own goals? Guys, goal? he's not going to score two own goals. This it is a big game. Up, and that is it. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Win. Oh, no. <laughs> Vinch. He's won it, guys. Woo. A great performance. 4-2 in the final. We're going to go over to Chris now. He's going to uh, talk to the winner and the commiserations for the second place. Well, well done, guys. Good game. Good game. Thanks, boys. I'm here on the stage with Brian and Vinch. Brian came so, so close, and you've fallen at the last hurdle. But you have secured yourself $4,000. So how are you feeling right now? Well, I feel uh, right now bad because uh, I don't play my game. He was better on this game. He deserves a win. He's a monster. Absolutely. And Vinch, how do you feel? The second time you've had an attempt at a Gfinity title and the second time you've finally taken it. Uh, second time at a Gfinity title, how are you feeling right now? 
C'est la deuxième fois que tu fais un tournoi FIFA à la Gfinity. Comment tu te sens aujourd'hui ben, Déjà, je tiens à fester mon coéquipier Brian. C'était un, un match très dur. Après, on se, on se joue souvent, donc euh, c'était donc assez dur. On se, connaît, on se connaît par cœur. Et sinon, je suis, je suis très heureux d'avoir remporté la Gfinity 3. First, he wants to congratulate his partner, Brian. He thinks that he made a really good tournament. And um, this time, he, he have won. Um, they play each other uh, really often. This time, it's the turn of Vinch to win it. But in fact, he thinks that they are both really, really good players, so anyone can win. For this time, Vinch won. The Gfinity, and he is really happy for that. Lovely. Finch, I'm going to present you with a check. JJ, if you wouldn't mind, come and present the trophy to Vinch for me. Guys, let's give them a round of applause for their efforts this weekend. Both incredible, incredible competitors. Hope to see them in the future at a future Gfinity <laughs> events. Well played. Vince, 17 as well. Insane. Like, hopefully this should just be something other teenagers look out for. And, mate, you can make good money playing games. Don't let anyone say otherwise. And, Vince, well played, my man. Give a round of applause one more time for Epsilon Vince, your Gfinity G3 FIFA 14 champion. Don't forget, if you want to be like Epsilon, Vinch, or any of the competitors here this weekend, you can do that. Sign up for free at gfinity.net and get your FIFA 14 Road to Glory underway. You could be winning £30,000 in prizes every single month. That's it from me, and I want to thank all of the casters involved in this. Mover, Jonathan Beals, Chris Bullard, Spencer Owen, KSI. I, I can't really thank myself, but no, no, do you want to thank me? I've got to, we've got to thank Chris. Hail King Chris. <laughs> Chris Trout, thank you very much. Yo, guys, give a round of applause for Chris Trout. He's done an amazing job. You don't understand. He's actually a god and well played, man. Thank you very much, JJ. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to everyone behind the scenes at Gfinity and to Chaos TV for the incredible production that they have done. That's it from me. JJ, you got any final closing words? Boobs. There you have it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. Hope to see you soon. Good night. Generation. It's been built by us, but it's for you.